What's up YouTube, Wes Now here and we are back again with a new video for you guys. Today, we're pretty much going to be doing a one-on-one -on -one or a tutorial on how to set up Serato DJ, but not only how to set it up, how to set it up properly. Now somebody who's a professional DJ uh, and somebody who's been working in the music industry for quite some time now, um, I get this question pretty much every single day and it happens, especially for beginner DJs. Unfortunately, when you jump into this world, they don't tell you what to do at all. Pretty much when you buy something brand new out of the box, they tell you where and how to download the product, but they don't tell you how to set up these types of softwares. And for most people, they can be frustrating, but I'm here to fix that. But before we start, I just want to thank everyone who's been like, sharing, and commenting on the channel. Um, and also the, for the subscribers as well. We just hit over 100 subscribers, and I want to thank you guys very much. Also, at the end of the video, if you find it helpful, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and also share it with your fellow DJs, beginners, or veterans. Now guys, let's jump right into it. Now the first thing we're going to do is to actually go to the Serato.com website itself. This is where we download the DJ software. If you already have, right here at the top right, if you have yourself a profile, go ahead and log in. And if you haven't, go ahead and have make a free one. Um, all you need is an email and a password. And it just makes the downloading software a little more easy once we get there. Once you're logged in, now we need to get to the actual software download. Now there's actually two different ways to do that. If you go right here at the top about products, as you can see, it lists Serato DJ. But if you notice, it lists two different ones, Serato DJ Pro and Serato DJ Lite. We'll get to that in just a second. Another way to get to your software is just by scrolling down. Usually Serato DJ has a software listed right on the front page. It just makes it a little more easier and faster to get to. Now comes the most important step, downloading the correct Serato DJ. When you purchase a DJ controller, usually in front of the box or inside of the box on the slip, it actually tells you which DJ software to download. It's either going to be Serato DJ Pro or Serato DJ Lite. Please make sure you are downloading the correct one. By downloading the wrong one, you will have a lot of problems in the future to where your DJ controller and your software will not communicate with each other whatsoever. Usually, DJ controllers under the $300 price tag, such as the Newmark MixTrack Pro 3 or the Pioneer DDJ SP3, will always come with the DJ software Serato DJ Lite. DJ controllers over $699, such as the Pioneer DDJ SX3 or the Denon MCX8000, will always come with Serato DJ Pro. For the sake of this video, we're just going to go ahead and download Serato DJ Pro. Now, the same way I install Serato DJ Pro is actually the same exact way you're going to be downloading Serato DJ Lite. So let's go ahead and follow. So the first thing we're going to be doing is hitting download right next to find out more. Once you make it to this page, the next thing we'll be focusing on is system requirements by clicking the tab here. Once clicking the tab, just scroll down. It will show you what your laptop or your desktop must have in order for Serato DJ Pro or Serato DJ Lite to run properly. Now your computer doesn't have to be some crazy powerful machine. As long as you have your basic specs, it's going to run properly. So don't worry about what type of brand it is. As long as it has the right specs, it's going to run just fine. Once checking your system requirements, making sure that your current computer or laptop is going to run Serato DJ Pro correctly, next, all we're going to be doing is hitting the download button located here. Once you hit download, you should see it start at the bottom of the window. This can take anywhere from a minute to more depending on your internet access. For some reason, if the download does not start automatically, right here at the top of the screen, make sure you select start to download manually. This usually happens is because you have a Windows blocker on your computer and it needs a little bit extra push from you to actually make the download happen. Once the download process is complete, at the bottom of the window, go ahead and select that tab. Once you select it, a little window like this is going to pop up. Within that window, you're going to see the link for Serato DJ. Go ahead and double click that. After double clicking, you should see a second window which is for the actual Serato DJ Pro installer. Once this pops up, all you're going to be doing is selecting I agree. Once you hit I agree, go ahead and install and it will take about less than a minute to actually install the DJ software. In this case, I already have Serato DJ installed, so we're just going to get right to the actual software itself. Once the installation process is complete, if you go to your desktop, you will notice that you now have a Serato DJ icon located somewhere on your screen. This is great because it allows a shortcut to go to the DJ software without you searching through your whole computer to try to find it. Once you find your shortcut, go ahead and double click that. And you've done it. You have now successfully installed Serato DJ Pro or Serato DJ Lite onto your computer. But before we go, let's hop into the settings to actually make your Serato experience much smoother. Now the first settings we're going to be checking is the actual settings within Serato DJ itself, which is located right here at the top, which looks like a small gear. What you're going to be doing is go ahead and click that. Once you click that, it's going to send you to this window. Then you'll be going to audio. Now you're going to be checking out the USB buffer size, which is probably one of the most important settings within Serato DJ. 
Now, what does USB buffer size mean? Well, it pretty much means how well does your hardware and your software communicate with each other. The easiest way to put it is, the lower the buffer size, the tighter it is, which means people who like to scratch like myself, um, it'll, there won't be a, a huge delay on it whatsoever. It'll be much tighter, almost like a vinyl feel. The bad thing is it causes a very CPU heavy load onto the computer, which can cause dropouts and also crashes as well. Now, if you bump up the buffer size, what this does is that it actually causes a little bit of lag between the hardware and the software. The easy way to put it is if you hit play your DJ controller, it actually wants to start playing on your software until like a second later. So mixing like this can actually cause a lot of issues. So to be on the safe side, it's just to keep it right here in the middle, around five milliseconds, which is actually like your default settings. So the next setting we're gonna be focusing on is on the library and display. But the only thing we'll be focusing on is a maximum screen. Now what this is, is frames per second. Uh, the easiest way to put this is that the higher the frame rate, the pretty much the more smoother it looks on the screen. But depending on your computer, this actually may cause a lot of lag and a lot of stoppage, which means you could be playing, the song is still playing, but your actual screen is frozen in place. What this means is that your computer doesn't have enough CPU power to actually make it run smoothly. So the best thing to do is either bump it down to around 40 or 30, and it actually frees up a lot of CPU power in your computer, which actually makes Serato DJ run much, much smoother. Now, if you do have a pretty powerful computer, you can bump it up to 60 frames per second, which actually makes your Serato DJ looks a little bit more better. And also for people who like to scratch, it actually makes scratching a lot more accurate. Now, the last few settings are actually not located on Serato itself, but they're actually located on your computer. So the first thing you're gonna do is go ahead and minimize Serato. Once you minimize Serato, anywhere on your screen, hit right click. Once you hit right click, we're gonna be going down to display settings. Now go ahead and select display settings. Once you're in your display settings, the only thing we're gonna be looking at here is your resolution, which is located right here. Now what you are looking for is 1280 by 720. The reason being is Serato DJ runs its best at this resolution. If you actually try to go higher than this resolution, what's gonna happen is you're gonna be using too much CPU power, which is gonna cause Serato DJ to freeze, your music to freeze, or actually complete shutdown of Serato DJ itself. Also, a few more things you can check. Make sure your Wi-Fi is turned off and make sure there's nothing else running in the background besides Serato. You want your computer to be focusing on nothing but Serato to give you the best performance possible. And there you have it, your Serato DJ is now properly installed in your computer and now you're ready to gig. Now my next coming videos, I'll be focusing on how to set up your library, how to set up samples and effects, and also how to set up Serato video as well. So stay tuned. As always guys, if you liked the video or if you did find it helpful, go ahead and hit that like button and also share it with your friends. Also, to keep up with all my latest, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. And if you do have any other questions about DJ setups or even just DJ toppers in general, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. And if I get quite a bit of the same one, I'll go ahead and make a video of it as well. As always, guys, thank you for watching. My name is Wes Now, and we'll catch you guys next time. Play on.